in this video i'm going to explain how we can deploy an application so then further how we can access that application so without using load balancer or ingress or node port okay so we have an option uh, cube port forwarder so we will use that in command lane but uh, there are certain people they might not be aware about this cube forwarder right so we cannot by heart this command every time to manage this efficiently so we have another method it's called cube forwarder okay and this will give a graphical user interface so by just installing this tool you can uh, maintain those port numbers okay you can keep this port number same way then you can whenever you want to access any application you can just uh, just play over you and it will be uh, port forward from your local system so the main purpose of this uh, we will use this in development purpose like uh, when you're deploying an application if you want to do testing okay so that time we will use this same as if you have any uh, postgres database if you have any time scale database or if you have any mongodb database on, on your kubernetes cluster so if you want to access that either you have to create a load balancer or node port or a vpn connection right so uh, which is not necessary uh, when a development stage so what we what we can do so at that time we can go with this uh, port forwarding option okay so we can use either command line prompt or else we can go with the uh, this graphical user interface so the dependency things are uh, we required one kubernetes cluster so i have my kubernetes cluster is already ready you can see this mini cube right so i created one worker node and one uh, master node with a mini cube so i have a two cpu and four gigabytes ram so now i have to deploy an application sample application so here i took one static application which i already created uh, so what I will do, I will apply this YAML file into this cluster. So as soon as I apply this file, so we'll be get an application. Okay. So once we get the application, then we will try to access the application by using Q forward. So first, uh, let's apply this. So this is the application. Here you can see this app dot YAML. Uh, this is the deployment. I have a three replicas running. So I don't want a three. I want only one replica. That is enough. Uh, Mage labels is test app. Uh, template under template also I came away with this test app so container name you can see the test app container and this is the uh, docker image uh, which I have already pushed to my docker app. container port number is 80 and this is the service service I'm running over here cluster IP I'm not using any load balancer or any uh, ingress role okay so nothing I'm using over here I'm only using the cluster IP uh, that's it okay so let's go ahead and apply this so here you can see this app.yaml so kubectl apply minus of yaml so if you not specify in the namespace it will apply on default namespace let's go to default namespace okay we don't have any application over here okay and uh, yeah it's created and you can see this uh, this application is going to pending now yeah now it's waiting yeah it's created cool so let me check the logs yeah it is successfully started running so let me do one thing before accessing this application so let me install cube forward okay so we can forward this port number multiple way either you can use the uh, camel and utility kubectl port forward or else you can just click over here so come down here you can see this port forward right click over here this also will work but suppose consider if you want to create a specific port number for this application and you want to use this occasionally maybe uh, today and tomorrow maybe after one hour so at that time this will not work okay this is a temporary purpose port forwarder okay so what i recommend to install this cube forwarder then you have to use it so this is the cube forwarder pixelpoint.io website so what you can you can come to this website and can download the uh, necessary one if you're using windows you can use a windows application so I have already installed this application here you can see this application right okay so what I'll do I'll close this and let me open it again let me cut and open again okay I open so the first thing is we have to add a cluster okay as of now we don't have any cluster here so let's click on add a cluster okay so this will list all the available cluster as of now you can see this I have only one cluster which is minikube so let's select this check mark and add selected clusters 
okay now we added the cluster here you can see this mini cube right so this is the cluster i added previously so let me remove this i think it's unnecessary now okay so now i have only one cluster which is a mini cube so now we have to add the resource means which application you want to add so let me click on add a resource uh, let's select mini cube cluster name workload we can select service deployment port but i recommend you have to select service uh, this let me give uh, nginx app not nginx app test app uh, namespace we can give a default since i deployed this application under default namespace i have to use default uh, name i can give test app cluster ip right this is the uh, name of the service uh, let me check it out go to service yeah test app cluster ip this is the service okay and port number is 8003280 so what we have to do uh, we have to come down and uh, we, you have to specify which port number you want to use for your local system so i am going to use port number i want to use uh, 1203 okay 1203 12003 this is the port number i am going to use for the local so now we have to specify the service port number so this is the service port number 8003 let me give 8003 now let's click on add a resource let's minimize it okay add a resource yeah we successfully added a test app now now we can click on this play button and it will uh, uh, create a tunnel connection from our local system to this kubernetes app let's click overview see so it's blinked to green so let's access on 12003 and let's see whether it is working or not let's go here i think uh, i can minimize this window uh, we can go ahead and we can open a new yeah this one so local host and i will use 12003 you can see this local host 12003 so which is working perfectly okay so whenever you don't want you can close it so just click over here so this will pause again let's refresh see it's gone so whenever you want you can come to this service and you can just uh, unpause it see it work again it's quite simple even if you close your system and even if you shut down and restart your system it will work okay you will be have this test tab resource over here so whenever you want you can just unpause and pause pause and pause okay you can do like that so you can have a multiple uh, services over here so for the development purpose this is uh, really really cool uh, but like when you go to the production and staging environment we have to mandatorily create a load balancer and uh, on top of load balancer we'll be having ingress and all yeah that's it thank you